today I wanted to unbox this ice bath with you and set it up as a beginner. Wish me luck, my very first cold plunge. <sighs> Feels nice to be in the sun. I am completely new to using an ice bath and it'll be my very first cold plunge that I do. I'm hoping it's something that I can set up on my own. It's kind of windy today. It's extremely hot and sunny, but we're going to get this going. First off, we're going to see what comes in this box now. This box shipped from LA and it didn't actually take that long to get here. It's like we have a pump and I didn't get anything fancy. I just kind of got the standard cold plunge tub. I know there's different types to get, but this was really inexpensive. I think I spent less than 150 Canadian on this. All right, we got a floating thermometer. We've got the poles here. And this super cute storage bag, carrying bag. All right, let's open this up and take it. repair kit which I love definitely saving that for later we've got the instruction manual some type of pose before I go any further I definitely want to be going through the manual because like I said I am a complete beginner at this so I'm gonna have it set up here on my deck ideally in the winter because I am in Canada it's probably gonna to be too cold um, it does drop to about minus 40 degrees Celsius in Canada so probably need to move it inside. I did a lot of research and this is pretty durable. It shouldn't puncture. I shouldn't have to worry about any leakage, but I'll likely put it inside my bathroom and that way we can prevent any type of you know, flooding or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and follow the directions. And hopefully it is just as easy to assemble as it says. As you saw, it was really easy to set up. The issue was that I didn't always get a great seal with the pump in the valve, so kind of popped out sometimes. Um, I did note that it has this gray cover to keep out the bugs if we're using it outside. And also, you know, I thought this was a carrying case, but it's actually a lid to secure it. And it cinches all the way around for storage, which is amazing. I think I'm gonna start by filling this guy up. It's said to make sure that the valve on the outside is completely closed. Close that guy. So now I'm gonna start filling her up. I'm just filling this up with a regular garden hose so I'm gonna time how long it takes for us to fill it because it's actually quite a large tub it's much larger than I thought it was going to be which is great because I'm a little bit taller I mean I am 5'8 and I know there's people wondering you know if they're over six feet if they're actually gonna fit in this tub or if they need to get a larger tub I feel like this is gonna be sufficient but we are going to test it out now as for temperature I am going for as cold as I can take for the shortest amount of time. So I know some people like a slightly warmer tub and staying in there for, you know, between 10 and 15 minutes, but I don't have that much time in the morning. And so I'm aiming for about three minutes. I love the floating thermometer. I think it's fantastic. It's currently 25 degrees outside. It is hot and we're going to see how cold we can get this water. 
There are some different hacks on how to get this water cold and how to keep it cold. So some of the ice baths that you receive will come with, you know, huge ice trays that you can freeze because obviously going to buy ice and keeping this cold is isn't sustainable. For myself, I actually froze some old plastic water bottles full of water because I think that is a little bit more sustainable for me. I can throw them in here and you know when they melt I can just throw them back in the freezer. But you are going to want to be changing this water you know every week if you're using it every day. I mean obviously there's no chemical or chlorine in the water so any of the sunscreens or lotions I have on my skin they are going to get in the water but I'm only in there for three to four minutes so I'm hoping that I can keep the water cold and keep it as fresh as possible for hopefully a week. So the temperature of the cold plunge like I said will vary from person to person. Also if you frequently cold plunge you're essentially training your body to get used to the colder water so you will be able to take colder temperatures as you get more comfortable when you're starting off as a beginner like I am we likely won't want it to be that cold because it won't be as uh, enjoyable for us but what we are trying to do is create a little bit of stress on the body in that moment and that brings me to all the benefits of cold plunging now cold plunging has been used for years to help reduce muscle soreness and that's my main reason for getting the cold plunge I work out really hard almost every day five to six days a week and I'm noticing myself getting injured a little bit more and even if I incorporate lots of stretching into my routine I'm finding that you know I have aches and pains here and there so hoping the cold plunge will help alleviate some of the soreness that I get. You know there's lots of other benefits. I'm not saying that these are completely backed by medical science but I know people have seen major success here, increase in metabolism, reduction in anxiety and stress and just overall mental clarity. I know lots of people use cold plunge to help aid with depression. So I'm looking forward to incorporating it into my routine every day to try to get some of these benefits. All right, let's check in. We're at five minutes on the nose and she's about a third of the way full right now. I'm gonna drop my thermometer in. Okay, the water is at 15 degrees Celsius, which is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty warm still. I'm going to add in these frozen bottles of water that I have and we are at eight and a half minutes now and it's half full. Okay, it's been 15 minutes so I'm going to pull the hose out because she's full. I was attacked by the hose which is why I'm soaking wet now but that's fine. I don't think I anticipated how much ice it would take to reduce the temperature below 10 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna have to put some ice in here to really bring it down to uh, an acceptable temperature. It's time. cold. It actually went by really fast. Um, I thought that I was getting really bored and that I wouldn't make it to three minutes. Shocking to the system. Oh, I can't imagine doing that in winter every day, but I have to work up the mental toughness to definitely do that. Oh, I definitely feel super exhilarated and I'm feeling very proud of myself that I was able to do that. Whew. All right, I'm going to get this covered up so that I can try to maintain the temperature for tomorrow. So 
So for ease of setup, you guys saw how easy, easy it was for me to set it up. I didn't require any assistance or special tools. It came up fairly quickly, like within five minutes. It took me 15 minutes to fill it full of water from my hose. And I then just added ice from my freezer. Now I will say that I don't think it got as cold as I would have liked. However, it is warm out here. In the winter time, as the temperature starts to drop, it'll probably be a little bit easier for me to maintain a colder temperature. But of course, I'm gonna have to train my body to be able to last a little bit longer. Now, I, like I said, I am going to keep all the water in here and keep it as fresh for as long as I can, but I think I'll be able to tell when I kind of need to change it out. Being in the sun, I think it will warm up quite quickly so rather than having to add a lot more ice i'll use this water to water my grass and garden you know fill it up with the hose again which you know obviously hose water fills up um, quite quite cool very simple and much much more affordable than you know going to a spa and doing the actual you know cold therapy i love this that you can fit it into your daily routine it's super simple and like i said i paid less than 150 dollars Canadian for this so really really cost effective now I do have a discount link and code below so you can shop through this link and actually save 20% feel free to use my code if you're interested if you have questions um, about setup or anything like that please drop them down below if you like this kind of content be sure to like and subscribe I love doing wellness fitness self-care content thanks for all your love on this video and I hope you have a fantastic day happy cold plunging bye for now